This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Open the passenger's front door and press down the bonnet release lever. Lift the bonnet slightly, press up the bonnet safety catch and fully open the bonnet. Pull up the support brace and engage the end of the brace with a corresponding notch on the underside of the bonnet. Place a chock or suitable stone each side of the wheel, diagonally opposite the wheel to be removed. Remove the hub cap stroke wheel trim or plastic caps from the wheel bolts. Use this special adapter in the toolkit to slacken the anti-theft wheel bolts. Slacken the remaining wheel bolts half a turn. Place the workshop jack under the reinforced section of the sill and raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Place an axle stand under the reinforced section of the sill or subframe rear mounting point. Fully undo the bolts and remove the road wheel. Unscrew the nut, securing the anti-roll bar connecting link to the strut and position the link clear of the strut. If necessary, retain the ball joint shank with a Torx bit to prevent rotation whilst the nut is slackened. Discard the nut as a new one should be used on refitting. Undo the bolts and pull the hub carrier from the lower end of the strut, noting that the bolts fit from the front of the strut. To prevent the hub carrier assembly dropping whilst the strut is removed, support the lower arm. Take care not to strain the brake hose and the wiring attached to the brake caliper and the hub carrier. Operate the wiper motor, then switch it off so that the wiper arms return to the at rest position. Stick tape on the screen alongside the wiper blades to ensure correct refitment. There is also an alignment mark provided on the windscreen. Lift up the wiper arm spindle nut cover where fitted and then slacken the spindle nut. If the arm is very tight, free it from the spindle using a suitable puller. Fully unscrew the nut and remove the wiper arm. Repeat this procedure on the remaining wiper arm. Remove the plastic scuttle trim from in front of the windscreen. The trim is secured by a plastic expanding rivet at each end. Push in the centre pins a little, then prise the complete rivets from place. Lift up the ends of the trim to release the trim and then pull it down to release it from the lower edge of the windscreen. Turn the ignition on, turn the ignition off, then press the wiper switch once to set the linkage in the service position. Working in the scuttle aperture, slacken and remove the strut upper mounting nut, counter holding the strut rod with an allen key located in the end of the rod. Note that as soon as the upper mounting nut is removed, the strut will be unsupported. Maneuver the suspension strut from under the wheel arch. Locate the upper end of the suspension strut in the hole at the top of the wheel arch. Fit the upper plate convex side down, followed by the upper mounting nut. Tighten the nut to the specified torque. Engage the lower end of the strut with a hub carrier. Insert the bolts from the front and tighten them to the specified torque. Operate the wiper motor so that the wiper arms return to the at rest position. Refit the scuttle trim ensuring it locates correctly around the bonnet hinges and rubber seal and lower edge of the windscreen. Pull out the centre pins a little, 
refit the plastic expansion rivets and then press the pins down flush to secure the rivets. Refit the wiper arms, aligning them with the tape or windscreen marks as applicable. Tighten the wiper arm nuts securely and where applicable, refit the spindle covers. Reconnect the anti-roll bar connecting link to the strut. Do not omit the wiring support bracket. Use a Torx bit to counterhold the ball joint shank and tighten the nut to the specified torque. Clean the hub mating surface with a wire brush. Apply a little high temperature anti-seize grease to the hub centre. Refit the wheel. Insert and lightly tighten the bolts. Remove the axle stand and lower the vehicle to the ground. Working in a diagonal sequence, tighten the wheel bolts to the specified torque. Refit the hubcap stroke wheel trim or plastic covers. Support the bonnet and disengage the end of the support brace from the notch under the bonnet. Lower the support brace and securely press it into its retaining clip. Fully lower the bonnet and check it is securely held by the retaining catch.